Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Detail Recovery Node. And this is a DaVinci Resolve FX available within Fusion. And it's a node we usually use within the uh, Color Grading tab, but it's available within Fusion. Unfortunately, it is Studio version only. So let's jump into Fusion. And we've got some footage here, and it's not bad. It's a little bland and a little boring. We could make it more exciting and we can probably bloom this out and blow it out to make it look like it's kind of haloed and uh, do some different stuff. So let's go ahead and do that first before we bring this detail recovery node in. So we're going to add a color node and we're going to go a little crazy here and we're going to lift our gain up. And uh, we really don't care if this is blown out too much and uh, maybe I should look at what I'm doing. So I'm going to bring it up quite a bit to uh Kind of blow it out a little bit. And I'm going to bring in a blur node and uh, we're going to go ahead and blur that up a little bit. So we've got a little blurring going on. So obviously this is not good footage anymore, <laughs> but uh, we can use the detail recovery node to bring it back and still have kind of this dreamy like look. So let's go ahead and hit shift space and search detail recovery. And we're going to input it and our detail recovery has three inputs one is our effect mask we have this source and then we have this source two now don't get confused it really doesn't matter which one we input our original source to or this one because we'll have the ability to change it because as a reminder this node was originally built for the color grading node so our options are based off our nodes within our color grading tab so we can bring an original footage in to this one and bring this footage into this one. And if we look at a recovery node, nothing exciting has happened because we need to probably switch this around. So up here we have transfer direction, which means we're going to apply recovery from input two to input one or from input one to input two, which is what we want. So once we have our input correct, up here, we can uh, change the detail extraction. And if we look at our preview right here, if I go to our frequency cutoff, you can see it's going to change the frequency of our detail. Our detail slash edge balance is going to change our detail slash edging. And our strength is going to change the strength of that detail or edging. So if I uncheck this and we go back to our image, we can kind of find something we like. We can increase that to bring our detail back in. Find the right balance of our detail slash edge. And there we go. So we went from this footage to this footage without using any detail because we use this detail recovery to bring out the detail from this blown out image. So that is the detail recovery node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.